Hey yogis, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alana and I post weekly yoga classes here every single Wednesday, so you should subscribe, stick around. But in today's class, I'm going to take you through a 15 minute beginner vinyasa style class. So vinyasa meaning we move with our breath and we will be repeating some of the similar arm motions, but changing it up in the lower body. So as long as you keep it nice and slow, moving with your breath, that should be beginner friendly. And we'll go ahead and get, get started started in a child's pose. So bringing the big toes to touch and bring the knees as close as is comfortable on your mat. As you press the hips back towards the heels and walk the hands out in front of you, lowering the forehead down towards the mat. Beginning to tune into your breathing here. Noticing how your body is feeling today. Beginning to extend your inhales and exhales. Telling your body that it's okay to relax and let go for these next few minutes. Deepening the connection to your breath, deepening your awareness of your breath. As we'll be using the breath to sync it with our movements throughout our vinyasa practice today. As you're ready on your next inhale, you can walk the hands back in towards the knees, coming to a seat on your heels. And we won't be here long, but just bring the hands behind you so that the palms of the hands face in, fingertips are on the mat, and really squeeze the shoulder blades together, drawing the shoulders back, finding a nice opening through the chest here. Find an inhale. Then exhale, walk the hands out in front of you, come back to that narrow child's pose. So moving with the breath here, inhale, walk the hands back behind you, open through the heart. Then exhale, walk the hands forward, round the forehead back down into your narrow child's pose. Inhale, walk it up. Exhale, walk it down. Taking one more cycle of breath here, inhale up. Then exhale back down. Then inhale, come back into your seat here. And then we'll alternate hands. So bring the right hand behind your hips and lift the left hand up and overhead as you lift the hips just a little bit, as much as comfortable, lifting the hips away from the heels, finding lift and lengthening. Then exhale, lower the hips back down. Bring the left hand behind you. Inhale, reach the right hand up, lift the hips. Exhale, lower the right hand down behind you. Inhale, lift the left hand high. Exhale, lower the left hand. Inhale, right hand up. And exhale down. Taking a few more movements with your own breath here. Really allowing your movements to be free and fluid with your breath here, so not really focusing on what you look like, but tuning in to how you feel. And on your next inhale, come back through center, bring both hands back down to the mat, coming into all fours. Then walk both knees back, using this as a transition to get into your downward facing dog. So lifting the hips up and back, bending into the knees generously here. The heels don't have to come all the way down to the mat. You can just play with finding sensations where you're at. So bending into one knee and then the other. And focusing on pressing the chest back towards the thighs as you really grip down with the fingertips, trying to take the weight out of the wrists and into the fingertips. Noticing where your mind may have wandered during that transition and just bringing yourself back to the awareness of your breath. I usually like to have a theme for all of the classes that I create and today's theme is freedom of the heart. So maybe as you are breathing here, visualize every inhale, breathing in new nice oxygen, sending fresh energy to your heart 
And with every exhale, releasing all of that stagnant energy, getting rid of anything that's holding you back. So inhaling in that freedom, that space, and exhaling anything that's restricting and holding you back. And on your next inhale, shift your gaze forward and step both feet to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe grabbing onto opposite elbows and swaying a little bit from side to side. Letting the head be completely heavy. And on your next inhale, slowly roll all the way up to standing, reaching the arms up and overhead. And exhale, hands come down through heart center. And adding some movement with your breath here, tuck the hands behind you, place the right forearm on top of the left and grab onto opposite elbows. So this is a variation that I like to take because reverse prayer hands is out of the option for me. But if you can do prayer hands in reverse, go ahead and take that here. We're just going to be moving through a little standing back bend into a forward fold with the breath. So on an inhale, find a little bit of an arch in that back, really using the arms here to tune into the lower spine. Make sure you're not crunching your lower back in any painful way. Then exhale, round forward, bending into the knees generously. Let the head hang heavy. Inhale, roll yourself back up. Find that little back bend, arch of the back, opening through the heart, pulling the shoulders back. Then exhale to round forward, forward fold. Keeping the arms as they are. One more deep breath here. Inhale up. Then exhale, roll back down, forward fold. Then you can release the hands down, bending generously into the knees here, sinking the hips down. As you inhale, reach the hands high, find your chair pose. So thinking of having a long diagonal line from the tailbone all the way up through the crown of the head, reaching the arms out high. Find one more inhale here, lengthen through the hands. And exhale, bring hands through heart center. Then bring hands to your hips for stability. Shift your weight onto that right foot and step the left toes to the back of your mat, coming into a high lunge. So bending into that right knee, right knee stacks on top of the ankle. And once you feel stable here in the lower body, both hips are facing forward, back left heel is lifted off of the mat. Come into the same variation with the arms as we did standing. So tuck the arms behind you, right forearm places on top of the left, grabbing onto opposite elbows. And then really finding stability through the lower body, hugging the hips together, engaging the inner thighs and the glutes really finding activation through the lower body. Inhale to lift the chest. And exhale, round the chest towards the right thigh. Inhale, lift it back up. And exhale, moving back down. Finding freedom in your movements here. So inhale up, exhale down. Not thinking about what you look like, but just feeling into every bit of the body where you feel this pose. Take one last inhale in this pose and exhale, hinge at the hips, release the left hand down beside the right foot and reach the right hand high, coming into an easy twist. Focusing on engaging the hips, pulling the right hip back, left hip forward. Find one more breath here. Then exhale, right hand comes back to the mat and step the left foot forward, forward fold. Coming back to your breath here, maybe noticing how the breath is changing throughout this short little practice. <laughs> On your next inhale, slowly roll all the way up to standing, reaching both arms up and overhead. And exhale, hands come down through heart center. Then place both hands behind you, this time left forearm stacks on top of the right, grabbing opposite elbows and find those spinal rolls again. So inhale, lift the chest. Exhale to round forward into your forward fold, keeping the arms as they are, finding some openness through the chest, freedom of your heart. Find one more cycle of breath. 
Then on your next exhale, stay folded forward, release the hands down towards the feet. Then bend generously into the knees, lower the hips down. On an inhale, reach the hands high, come into your chair pose, finding your breath. Take one more inhale here. Then exhale, hands down through heart center, hands come to your hips. And shift your weight onto that left foot so you can step the right toes to the back of your mat, finding a high lunge. Right heel is lifted, left knee is bent. And make sure that that right hip stays facing forward, so don't let it open out to the side. Then take both arms behind you, same thing. Place the left forearm on top of the right and find that spinal movement. So inhale, lift the chest, open through the heart. And exhale, fold over the left thigh. Inhale up, moving freely here. With your own breath, exhale, fold forward. Taking a few more cycles of breath. And take one more inhale, lift the chest as high as it can go. And exhale, round forward, place the right hand down on your mat and lift the left hand towards the ceiling. Easy twist. Find one more inhale here. And exhale, left hand comes back down to your mat. And step both feet to the back of your mat, come into your downward facing dog, pedaling out through the feet, maybe tuning into how the body feels a little bit different after that short little standing sequence. It's not the quantity of yoga that you do, it's the quality of yoga that you do. So uh, I appreciate y'all for making it thus far. Moving back down onto our mats here, you can lower both knees down onto your mat, centering the knees underneath your hips, and then coming into your puppy pose, walk the hands out in front of you, letting the forehead rest down on the mat. As you keep the hips lifted, let the chest melt down towards the mat, focusing on finding openness, noticing gravity's effect in this pose. How does it influence your chest and your shoulders? And on your next inhale, walk the hands back towards the knees and shift both feet off to one side. Lower the hips down into your seat and make your way down onto your backs. So rolling down onto the spine, moving slowly here, hugging the knees in towards the chest and rocking a bit from side to side. And taking one final pose here, let both soles of feet fall down to the mat, keeping the knees stacked over the ankles. Walk the heels in towards the hips. Then grabbing onto the outer edge of your mat with both hands, tuck the shoulders underneath you. So it should feel like you're peeling the entire spine away from your mat as you engage through the inner thighs and pull the hips up off of your mat, finding a bridge pose. Breathing here, maybe instead of focusing on the lower body here, you focus on how much can you lift your heart in this pose. So we know that the hips can go nice and high, but um, how do you feel in the upper body? The focus of today's practice. Imagining expansiveness in the chest here as you breathe. And on your next exhale, you can let the hips come back down to the mat. Extend both legs out long and let the arms be heavy by your sides. Moving into your final resting place, Shavasana, our final pose of class. Taking a moment here to relax through your entire body, giving yourself the freedom to relax. That's something that a lot of us, including myself, don't do often, but you do have the freedom to relax here on your mat as you stay present with your breath in Shavasana.
And slowly begin to bring some movement back to your hands and to your feet. And in your next inhale, extend both arms up and overhead. Finding a full body stretch here. And as you're ready, bend into both knees and roll over onto one side, coming into fetal pose, taking one final moment here in stillness. Taking a moment here to thank yourself for making the free space in your day for this act of self-care. And as you're ready, keeping the eyes closed, slowly press yourself up into your seat, either placing both hands on the thighs or bringing both hands to heart center and taking one final breath together with an ohm on the exhale, calming the nervous system. So as you're ready, inhale through the nose. Oh. Gently tuck the chin in towards the chest and blink your eyes back open, coming back to the space around you. I thank you guys so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this class. Let me know how it went for you down below and let me know if you have any other requests for other yoga classes. Also, let me know if you have any other requests, vlogs, food, whatever you wanna see, um, cause I also upload other content on the weekends but yeah be sure to subscribe and stick around if you haven't already and i'll see you again in my next video have a wonderful rest of your day bye guys